Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Authentically Being Ava. I did a video first on cleaning these boots and they look a hot mess. If you want to see that video, check in the description below. So I'm coming back for a second video with these boots. They, they cleaned up really well. I actually was really impressed with the products that I used on the boots. The only thing was once they dried, they looked like they could still use some help and that's just where they are now. Um, so I decided I'm going to dye them. I'm going to dye them black so they are a deeper and more enriched shade of black like they were when I purchased them. So that's what I'm about to get into now. We'll see how this comes out. Thank goodness it's black so I don't have to do a whole lot of preparatory things to it. I'm just like, hey, I got on those where I'm not going to uh, be mad if they get messed up. <laughs> Should I get dye on them? And the shoes are black on black, you know, so I'm just going to be careful to go around the emblem and this metal part here, um, I don't think I'll have a problem. I can just wipe that off should I need to. And actually, I'm going to go get a wet rag just in case I need to do that. Should I have these things already? But nevertheless, um, okay, here we go. So I am using Fee Beans dye, black dye, suede dye. And I have the information in the description on that. And as I finish up, I'm also going to use this water protector um, for these. Is that this is really going to come in handy? It's also by the same company, Fee Beans. And I have also linked that information in the description should you want to purchase the items with the suede dye liquid. You also get one of these applicators. So I bought an extra, some extra ones, just in case I'm um, a bag of them. And from the previous video, where I cleaned the shoes, um, I realized when I went to clean the laces, the like suede laces that came with the boots to match with the um, exterior part here, uh, the laces were messed up. <laughs> so I had to go buy some more. So I got the laces in. So that's what we have here. I'm about to get started, so um, stay tuned. All right, family. So we're going to start here with the dye application. I'm opening up the container of dye, and yes, yeah, a little bit of a smell. But once the shoes uh, finished drying, the smell was gone and haven't smelled it since. I'm starting with the tongue of the boot, um, dyeing all of that first. So starting there and going straight down to the toe. And actually, I decided to stop here and get my gloves because it is quite messy. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, going through the tongue of the boot uh, down to the toe and then kind of around the boot that seemed to work the best for me as a technique um, following back up and going with the um, the eyelets or where the shoelaces go I have a little bit of a slight challenge here because I have the little metal rings around the eyelets so I just decided to get a bowl of water with a rag and then I also have a bunch of q-tips so that I can um, quickly uh, clean up any stains or mistakes that I make um, on those areas and it worked like a breeze I had no problem at all and uh, from there I just decided to use um, even strokes you know not strokes but even coats I didn't want to do or, or put a whole bunch of dye on this one application. I've decided from the beginning to do two applications. So I'm just going to do a nice even stroke um, and then, you know, to, to have one, a nice even coat <laughs> of dye. Um, I definitely want to, you know, do the one coat and let it dry and just see how evenly the paint looks because I, I at this point I have no idea it's so hard to tell with the color um, of the dye being so dark and being it black so I'm just going to take it easy and not just go in and do just a whole bunch of you know just pour, pour a whole bunch of dye on the shoe for one uh, for one coat so anyway so family, just uh, take a look and um, I will get back with you in a moment and see as I go through the, the second boot with the dye.
Okay, so I'm gonna just let these dry and come back in and do a second coat. So I just actually want to see how they actually look, how dark they really are, because it's so hard to tell when the shoe is wet, you know, with from water or from colored dye. So I'm gonna let these sit for a bit and I will be back to do another coat. Okay, so now I'm back. It's been a couple of hours and they have pretty much dried, but, and take a look at how they look. So they look a lot better, a lot darker, more like how they looked when I first purchased them. And just imagine when you put the laces in, how they're gonna look, so yeah. They look a lot better, but I do want to just follow up with one more coat of the dye so that it can just have a a real nice dark color to them. So I'm gonna get started on that process again and I'll see you in a bit. All right, family, so this is day two. I just ended up letting them dry overnight and so here I am. So unfortunately, it's not a bright and sunny day like it was on yesterday. So I tried to add some more light, but I guess you guys can see me good enough and the boots good enough, so. Let me just go ahead and finish up and wrap up. But this is the finished product. They came out really, really good. And it was actually the second coat of the dye that really darkened up uh, the boot and gave it a really, really nice dark look that I was looking for. And that was like how the boots looked when I purchased them. So I am really excited. Um, I did put the um, velvet, the new velvet shoelaces that I had purchased but they just look a mess, okay? So I don't know what's going on. I can't find the narrow velvet shoelace like uh, close to the shoelace that came with the boot. So those, the ones that I, original ones that I had got messed up um, through wear. So, and like I said, these second ones I purchased, they're so wide. They look like ribbons and they, they totally just take away from this um, detailing the metal details. These are the original, um, the second pair of shoestrings that came with the boots. So these are narrower and you can actually see, you know, the boots detailing and everything. And that's the way it's supposed to look. So I loved dyeing um, the shoes. It was really easy, a little messy. So you definitely want to wear gloves, like which is what I did. And, um, and yeah, I say do it. If you're thinking about doing it and you can probably get a, another season of wear out of your shoes, why not your shoes or boots or whatever why not you know and then follow up with a protectant um sealant and this water protector i'm going to use i'm going to have to take these outside and do to, like today for instance there were all the rain we're getting these would be great you know they would be protected is what i'm saying so anyway family thank you so much again let me do a close up and they, they look really really good they look really really close to how they look when i purchased them so I am totally excited about this, and I definitely would do it again, and hey, I hope I have encouraged you to maybe try it yourself if you haven't done it. So anyway, so check the product description below. I have all the information that I used on cleaning shoes, um, the type of dye I use, all of that is down below, and as well as the, the water protector. So if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, family. Love you.